They must not. Okay. <laughs> I narrowed it down now. Good <laughs> evening. Uh, I'd like to call this uh, regular meeting of the Town of Thompson Planning and Zoning Commission to order. It is Monday, March 27th, 2023 at 7 p.m. We are here in Merrill Center Community Room at Thompson Town Hall and on Zoom. Uh, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Before I move on to the roll call, I would like to introduce to the commission our new recording secretary, Kevin Calabro. Kevin, thanks for joining. Thank the team. Uh, okay, so with that, we will begin with a roll call. Mr. Kowalski. Dave Kowalski. Brian Santos. Ray Williams. Jane Salty. Uh, Mr. Lanky. John B. Lanky. And Joseph Brody Brown. We will seat Mr. Santos for Ms. Langworth. Item. <laughs> and we will just keep an eye on that. Let me know if he comes in, Tara. Okay, item for public hearing, application 23-07, applicant Jason LaValle, zero Riverside Road, corner of Riverside Road and Asbury Road, map 67, block 53, lot 1H and 1G, zone TCCB, owner LaValle Construction, LLC, Rich Road, North Grovenerdale, Connecticut, special permit request for construction of multifamily dwellings under zoning regulations, article 4E, section 2, Number 30, as we saw in Ms. Dunn's email, uh, the posting, the, the legal noticing rather for it for this did not occur. Uh, so the chair moves postponement of the public hearing to um, our next regular meeting on April 24th. Motion made by seconded. Welcome, Mr. Krogo. Um, any discussion on the motion? I would just like to have a discussion because this is the second time this year, um, in a couple of months that this happened, happened with the DBA last month. Yeah, and so the commissioner's comments, I wrote, what is going on <laughs> at the villager? So, so, I, so this is the paper, and I checked my sent email, so it was definitely sent to her. So this is what I sent right after the meeting, um, legal notice from March 10th, which was the review of what we passed on February 27th. And then it says number one up here. And number two, please publish the following March 17th and March 24th. So because March 10th was in the newspaper, I know she got the email. Yeah. So, um, and they apologize again. Um, and the legal notice for this uh, public hearing will not be charged for us. Yeah. Okay, thank Just, you. As a side point, um, and I had recommended this to Cindy when this happened again, the legislature is reviewing this year uh, changes that will change the posting requirements from newspapers as being the requirement to the like the town's own websites and internal postings with the option to go. And obviously for towns of this size where there is no daily newspaper mm -hmm. coverage, mm -hmm. it's a big deal when notices. That, so that, you can that, provide that, testimony. That information was sent to you in my um, email. Yeah. Um, and I actually, as I said, I have contacted legislators and said, listen, you know, get, get moving on this. Yeah, will you keep us posted on, on when that, you know, because yeah, it's in the legislative commission's office for the bill to be legally written. And then it goes to the House. And if the House passes it, it goes to the Senate. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, if you'll let us know when it gets I back, House will. committees, you know, I will definitely. Yeah. I think it'll sail through. Yeah. It'll be effective October 1st of this year. Excellent. Yeah, Thank the buzz so. on the street is that everybody kind of recognizes how antiquated this process is. So it, we're I optimistic. Will, we will comment that it, it was said at the event that we went to the other night, a few of us went to uh, the, the Federation of Planning Zoning Agencies. Was said that um, many, many newspapers are lobbying against it, which is understandable. Of course, yeah, it's reliable right now. Uh, so, Mr. Popowski. So, Cindy, I just have a question. So, it looked like in in the handout that Mahler requested a special meeting for this uh, for this site. Is there any reason or why we wouldn't be invited to a to a special meeting on that, or if we wanted to attend as P and Z, could um, we attend? 
So I don't know if you're talking about the special meeting with Janet and her, the engineer. Yeah, because it went to it went to first selectmen, it went to conservation, it went to Janet. Yeah, I mean, is there a reason why we couldn't attend if we wanted to? I don't. I don't know. I don't think there's a reason why you could not attend. Um, the meeting is Thursday upstairs, and I believe it's at three thirty. But we'll check my bulletin board. Well, I know I didn't put it in my phone. We'll check my bulletin board. But I will be going to the meeting. But I don't think there's any reason why you cannot attend. This so, was a special one for the eleventh March eleventh. There was a site walk. Oh, that. That's one uh, more. I would be more inclined to attend. Had I known about it, and I'm right. you know, I'm speaking for myself. I don't know. Maybe some other members would like to attend. Yeah, sure. You know, it's okay. So, so what you're saying in the future, there are site walks on properties that you want to be invited. Yes, but you can go. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. I think that as we work with Marla, okay. and if Marla had some valuable input on what we were doing, I think that yeah, us attending would be beneficial if if we can. It would be, it'd be yeah. nice to have the heads up yeah. as yeah. to when they're going to do the walk up. You know, walk through on a piece of property. Yeah, not to see it in yeah. a packet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> three I'd like three to, weeks yeah. later. Yeah, there was a heads up on it because there was other people that did walk on it. Okay, oh. I don't. I'm just looking at the email. Oh, a, yeah, only the the uh, Inland Wetland Commission members though. Yeah, okay, with other, other people. In the so it's a public yeah. meeting. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah, it's a public yeah. meeting, so it has to be noticed. So well, I thought you meant the meeting. Presumably, you can sign it. No, I was email talking about the walk, the walk through. There was there was people from the public that was it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so if you would like to come to that Thursday meeting, just let me know this Thursday. Okay. Mr. Hill, it would still require notification in the paper. Special meeting. Yes, it yeah. did. Yes, it was in the paper. So we go through the same. Yep. Except right. that the special meeting would be a lot earlier. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't remember seeing it. Mr. Chair? Mr. Lenke. Yes, we... In the past, we have been invited, especially when it was public, on, on quite a few sites that have a lot to do with the planning and zoning. In the past, the um, the Ridden Road uh, French River LC, that we had a they had a walkthrough there. We had a couple walkthroughs through a couple of Rawson's um, sanding gra uh, gravel removal after it was all done, you know, when they were thinking of selling a property in the past. I think you were on one of them. I can't remember which one, but we had done it in the past. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Lanky. Thank you. Uh, motion made by uh, Chairman Brody Brown, seconded by Mr. Hill to postpone public hearing until the April 24th regular meeting. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, a yes vote will postpone. A no vote will take another action. Mr. Hill. Alvin Hill, yes. Mike Kogel, yes. James Halsey, yes. Ray Williams, yes. Frank Santos, yes. Dave Kaplinski, yes. Mr. Lanky? John B. Lanky, yes. Uh, and Joseph Purdy Brown, yes. Okay. Item four, public hearing, application 23-08. Town of Thompson Planning and Zoning Commission of 815 Riverside Drive, Amendment Zoning Regulations Format Chain Codification. Uh, this falls under the same issue that, that it wasn't uh, legally noticed in the papers. Uh, so I would move postponement to our, uh, well, Cindy, you had mentioned, did you, was there talk of a special meeting for this? Yeah, but I haven't had a chance to ask Renee if, um, if it is sufficiently time sensitive that we need one, that would be the only reason because we're on a contract for that. I think we're probably okay, but I do not have the answer for that. Okay. If if it turns out that we absolutely have to do it before the April meeting, I, I'll let you guys know. We'll just have to do it with plenty of notice. But yeah, you need fifteen days, right? So but fifteen to ten days. So we'd need to resolve that this week, but I suspect it's probably okay. Okay, and if, that's going to be a quick one because yeah. it's just. Pro forma, you just got to vote to authorize what we've already agreed to in principle. Because right. uh, I will uh, move the postponement of the hearing, public hearing for application 23 08 till uh, our next regular meeting on April 24th. I'll second that motion. Motion made by the chair, seconded by Mr. Hill. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, a yes vote postpones the hearing, a no vote takes another action. Mr. Poplowski? Dave Poplowski, yes. Juan Santos, yes. Ray Williams, yes. Jane Salsa, yes. Mike Kugel, yes. Alvin Hill, yes. Mr. Lanky? John B. Lanky, yes. 
And Joseph Prody Brown, yes. Item five, discuss public hearing and possible action. There is no action to be taken. Item six, citizens' comments. Ms. Clark? Valerie Clark, 105 Elm Road. Um, I'm interested about this meeting that was mentioned for Thursday. It's, I don't see it on the town calendar. I don't see it on the Inlands Wetlands Commission. Can somebody tell me what that the, is? The, the meeting. Was, on your words. Yeah, so she's asking about the meeting that you mentioned on Thursday. It's just to go over the vernal pool, the three of us. So yeah, so the three of you it's being- really a, It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's really staff. It's a staff right? meeting. It's staff. Yeah. The staff meeting. Yeah. March 11th was the public one. Was March 11th was the public yeah. walk through yeah. site. Yeah. Walk site. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Clark. Okay, seeing and hearing no other citizens' comments at this time. Move on to application uh, item seven, applications received. Application 23-11, Town of Thompson, 815 Riverside Drive, North Groverdale, Connecticut. Acceptance of amended subdivision regulations for the Town of Thompson for a public hearing. Make a motion that we postpone it or the, the, different action, John. Yeah, this would be to set a public hearing for the draft of the subdivision regular regulations that the subcommittee had been working on. I so motion. I'll second. Mr. Santos moves to accept application 23 11 for public hearing. Mr. Poplowski seconds. Any discussion on the motion? How can uh, Mr. Chair? Mr. Lanky. If we just uh, postponed uh, two other uh, two other applications in this one here, this one here wasn't ever enough. Uh, yeah, John, John, yeah. So this, the the two public hearings were supposed to take place today, but they were not noticed properly to occur today. We have not yet set a date for this public hearing. The motion is to set it for the twenty fourth, at which point it will have to be noticed properly. There has been nothing to notice on this application yet. We're just first seeing this application for the first time tonight. Go ahead, continue. Okay, I just wanted to make sure, yeah, Mr. Williams. Um, shouldn't we, with everything that came through with that email today, are we gonna have enough time to see that? If that we put this for an application now, and we and then it comes up at the next meeting. Are we going to have enough time to? Because there's some things that we still have to go over as the commission that that you sent us today. Yeah, um, I assume some version of this question would come up. So, um, what I would suggest, uh, obviously, you have the synopsis that I put together from Attorney Roberts. Mm -hmm. Comments, uh, the ones that were straightforward, I already dropped into the draft that we can put out to the public. And the ones that have open questions, um, I would say we should treat that like public comment. In other words, I'll get them back. Um, in the term, in the difference being because they're from the attorney, I can forward them to you ahead of time. I'll make sure that that's okay, but I don't see why it wouldn't be, uh, so that you can digest it. Uh, but then in that public hearing process, I will have had time to work out with Rich what exact alternate language is appropriate for those items um, because the, the notes that he sent me were more or less what I, I think I copied virtually all of them verbatim, you know, it could be different than this, but then that difference was not articulated. So uh, I'm going to call him first thing tomorrow morning and uh, possibly if he turns it around to me fast enough, I could put it all in the public draft. But that's up to you guys too. But what about like for the um, shared driveways with the the, um, the town going in to do work on shared driveways if it has to be done? Shouldn't that um, maybe have a Zoom meeting and we go over that after he would figure out what's going to go on with that? Well, again, it's up to you. That, 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 that kind of seems like that's. Uh, we're opening up a can of worms with, with that being in there. No, I, I, I hear what you're saying. I mean, he, he provided specific advice on that, which is that it should be restored. 
you can still vote to strike specific language at the end if you want. Um, I think we should have another Zoom meeting on this just to go over it before then. Not that I want to sit there and do it again, but I do believe that it is needed. How many days before we have to post it before the 24th? That would be the 15, and 15 days and, and five days. But 15 days plus whatever deadline the villager has. Days. So here's the here's the day saying we get posted. We get posted the second one, we get posted on the 21st, and the first one we get posted on the 14th. And you lose a day because of Good Friday, there will be no staff. So it would have to be in for the following, for the 14th. The decision, the notice would have to go into the villager. What, what are you talking about? The notice for the public hearing? Right. The notice for the public hearing goes in on the 14th and on the 21st. Right, but what she's saying, it's got to be. Yeah, yeah but, the but the 14th. got to hit the villager. So, you know, obviously, I'm going to um, instruct Kevin to do exactly what I did last week. I, I sent her like two days after this meeting. Yeah. And just say, here, here are the dates that go on, go, then it goes in. And ask for a return receipt on your email. That's what I told her we would be doing from now on. We just on just one note for the minutes, um, and for when Kevin does the minutes tomorrow, Kai's or just came into the meeting at seven seventeen. Uh, we'll see Ms. Orr for uh, Randy Blackmore. S Cindy, what was the twenty-one and how many days? April 14th and April no 21st. No more than 15, no less than 10. No more than, and then the next one has to be five days before. I was going to say, because the 24th, if you're doing the 21st, the 24th is Monday. So the publication technically is published on Thursday, the 20th. Okay. I say the 21st. Oh, that's when generally everybody gets, gets it. it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. You can go online on the 20th and you can read the publication. Okay. I just um, want to make sure we're. Yeah. No, yes, it's it, always it, been the it, process. Okay, can we do it on the fifth? I don't know if I actually can get it. But I'm just tossing that. Ah, uh, my my calendar's in the on the fifth. Theoretically, yes, I could host a meeting on the fifth. That's a Wednesday. That should be a no. yeah, yeah, that's a Wednesday. We're not going to be able to attend, but it's it's debatable. I'll come back and I'll agree. But uh, this, I I want to say the sixth too, but I I mean the board of finance meets that night, so. I, so I, I guess I'd just make one point about those things, which is that we left them, you guys indicated you wanted to delete them and I left them in the draft in strike through yeah. specifically for the attorney to look at. And his specific advice was, no, don't strike that. So based on our prior conversation, I would say you probably want to accept it, but if you wanna have a quick meeting to discuss it, I mean, I understand that, that urge, so it's fine. Uh, but that is sort of why I left them in that status. So, so, well, there's just something that I want to say about this. If, you know, um, you know, there, there's a chance that the town could get caught on the hook for for repairing these roads. And we got roads like Schoolhouse Pond that, that they say there's no no money to to fix roads that we've been fixing for 50 years. And here we are taking a chance of having to fix people's driveways. And that just don't seem right when when we're telling you know. Before July of next year, these people are going to be told that the town's not plowing their roads anymore, that they've been plowing for 50 years, that but we're going to be on hook of fixing people's driveways. Not, I don't think that's right. I, 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 yeah, no, I hear what you're saying. It, it creates a, a, it creates a logical inconsistency. I believe the way it's phrased, it covers that. But you know, yeah. if that's I, the thing that needs to be discussed, then we can discuss it. We're not here to talk about this. No, no, no. We are talking about that. Meeting. What, what, that uh, I would feel more comfortable having another Zoom meeting to be yeah, able to go over this again with the feedback from the lawyer, so that we know exactly where we stand. Let me just go grab that. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure this. Yeah. Disagree. Yeah. And then I have a follow-up question for you, Ms. Penn, when you return. Yeah, I'd like to know what the, what the <clears throat> final stuff was in that. I mean, I know we just got that email today, but yeah, no, I, haven't, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't had a chance to look at yeah, it, yeah. and I don't want to say I I would feel more comfortable doing it and going over it again. I would like to get the emails. <laughs> you don't get them. You're not using them. Why? 
I don't know. This is something wrong with your ability to see. It was definitely, I definitely send them, Mike. I promise you that I send them. Uh, yes, the fifth is fine. I will just have to skip the art show reception. Can I be a pain to see the sixth? Can I do that? That's a Thursday, yeah. That's a coming Thursday. Next week. Next week. Uh, I will just point out that it is budget okay. season and that's when the I budget know. meetings are. I'm okay with the sixth too. I'm not okay with um, yeah, I won't be. I'm leaving for out of banks at two o'clock in the morning. You're going to get me on a Zoom call at Thursday. All right. So stick with the fifth and I'll try to make it. All <laughs> right. So the fifth, April 5th. Yeah. yeah. So we'll do a Zoomer seven o'clock, April 5th. And I'll get that on the schedule tomorrow. This is Kai's. Um, hi, guys. Will you, hi. Will you? Oh, Will you need me on the fifth? Uh, and I only ask if I, if you don't need me, that would be great. My scheduled C section is Friday. Guys, how dare you take time off <laughs> in, in recovery from a C section? Unacceptable. So <laughs> you be where you need to be, guys. Okay. Um, sounds good. So I uh, don't count me for that day. Okay, thank you. If, Can't you get it done is, faster? Is, is, a, is, a subcommittee, <laughs> is a subcommittee meeting on the 5th? God bless you guys. Enough time oh. to still. <laughs> if I turn everything around the next day, I don't see why not. Yeah. Will it have to go back to the Roberts yeah. if we screw with it too much? You're discussing Roberts' comments. So. I don't think we're going to change anything. So. Okay. I don't, know. I, okay. I don't yeah. understand what you're doing here. You have a, a you have an application that has packet with it, and that's your subdivision regulation. So now you're going to have a meeting. At, so so you're going to accept this for public oh, hearing for April, this. but you're going to have a special meeting in the meantime to change it. Yeah, well, that's exactly. So well, nobody is, knows technically. So procedurally, I think you can't. She's right. You can't yeah, accept oh. it for a public hearing and then discuss it. So it has to be yes. denied. So it wouldn't be yeah. a subcommittee meeting. It would be a special meeting yeah. with two specific topics: one to discuss the final changes, and the second topic would be to accept for a public yeah. hearing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not a subcommittee meeting. It's a special yeah. meeting. Okay. Okay. So just before we do that, um, the the motion on the floor is to accept application twenty three dash eleven for public hearing on April twenty fourth. A yes vote will accept as currently written for a public hearing. A no will not do that. I'm just yeah, going to do. Say, you, you, you certainly, if you like, withdraw. withdraw. Okay. Me. Motion is withdrawn. Uh, we'll okay. Um, in that case, I will move to uh, schedule a special meeting of the Town of Thompson Planning and Zoning Commission uh, on Wednesday, April 5th at 7 p.m. via Zoom with two agenda items. One, discussion of subdivision regulations. Can we make that more specific? Actually, discussion of attorney's comments. Attorney, yes, discussion of attorney's comments on subdivision regulations. And item two, application received, application 23-11. Okay. That was my motion. Exactly. Seconded by Mr. Santos in a foot race to the finish. Uh, any further discussion on the motion? Hearing none, a yes will schedule this public hearing, a no will take another patch. A special meeting. I'm sorry, a special meeting. I don't know what I said. A yes will go for the special meeting. A yes will schedule the special meeting. A no will take another action. Thank you. Mr. Hill. Elvin Hill, yes. Mike Krogel, yes. Jane Salsi, yes. Ray Williams, yes. Ryan Center, yes. Dave Poplowski, yes. Mr. Lenke? Yes. And Joseph Ferdy uh, Brown. Guys. Yes. Thank you. And Ms. Orr. Kais Orr Levac, yes. Item eight. Applications received after agenda? None. There were none. Item nine, old business, there is none. Item 10, new business, there is none. Item 11, approval of planning and zoning commission minutes, February 27th, 2023. I'm to do a motion made by Mr. Santos, seconded by Mr. Williams to accept 
the minutes as submitted on Fe of February 27th, during discussion. I've got one. I first would like to thank Tira for her filling in in the interim. I and can't wait to hear what my typo is. With were. that, I will just uh, identify one typo that I would like corrected. Um, and section 9A. Um, the entire thing. I hope it was a good one. No, it was, it's, it's just, you know, Mr. Rice's first initial. Oh. He, he is J. Rice, not R. Rice. Uh -huh. So I would uh, request that correction be made. You were <laughs> so close in your final, in your swan sign. That's on page, the second to last page, if anyone's looking. 9A, the last line, Mr. Rice's abstention. He abstained on the lease because he's on the uh, historical society. Any further discussion? Okay. Um, Mr. Santos, will you? I accept that one blemish. Yeah, we'll change that. Yeah. Mr. Williams? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, a yes will approve as amended, a no will deny. Mr. Poplowski. Dave Poplowski, yes. Mike Santos, yes. Mary Williams, yes. James Halsey, yes. Mike Kogel, yes. Alvin Hill, yes. Mr. Lenke? John B. Lenke, yes. Ms. Orr? Uh, Kais, yes. And Joseph Purdy Brown, yes. Again, thank you, Tira, for filling in in the breach. Item 12, reports of officers and staff. Budget report. Uh, budget month-to-date expended was zero. Um, let's keep up that good work. And um, <laughs> The bill for the CFPZ. <laughs> <laughs> Guys are doing well. Um, I have not heard anything back for feedback on the budget uh, that was submitted to the finance. So uh, through Amy into finance. So I think it's being reviewed. No news is good news. <laughs> I think it was a we'll see. Is it this week? Can ask her if she's on. Uh, Miss Saint Ange. Yes, sir. Do I need to attend that Thursday? Um. Yeah, I got. We have to look ahead. Um, Bill Steglitz and I have been looking ahead to see which departments might um, be reviewed. Um, so I'll, I'll double check and I'll let you know. I had some excellent justification on that that somebody could probably read my absence. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Let me know. All right. And it is on Zoom as well. So you don't have to be in person. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Popovsky. Uh Ms. Penn. Uh well, we have the timeline to be reviewed for subdivision regulations, but we just set that. So uh, we can skip that. I will just bring to your attention um, something that came to me today in my email uh, from Diane Ifkovic at CT Deep. Uh, the updating of the FEMA flood mapping is going to have some effect um, on changes mm -hmm. we're going to need to make to the zoning regulations. Don't have to worry about it right now. They're going to be pretty much prescribed to us, so it's going to be pretty pro forma. Um, but since we know we're going to have to make some amendments, if there's anything anybody wants to uh, consider for our, at this point, more than annual <laughs> updates, um, you know, zoning? we could to yeah, the zoning, zoning. zoning. Yeah. We should obviously do as many things at one time as we can. Uh, I have not fully read that email yet. It came through today and I spent all day working on this memo. So I, I don't know how many changes they are, but I do know that they're going to be mostly like you have to make this change. And what happens if we don't make that change? We'd be in violation yeah, of either place? state or federal. And then they regulations. find us. Maybe uh, another possible. Or withhold funding for certain things. That is much more likely to be, be the blackmail and call. Yeah. No, coercion. Coercion, blackmail. Well, we, we are both a, a, a division of the state and of the federal government. Yeah. So their their laws and regulations trump ours, as it turns out. Still coercion. <laughs> Still coercion. Anything else, Ms. Penn? I don't think so. I think that's so oh, well, unless uh uh Brian, well, Brian and Al can talk about it under commissioner comments as well, but we attended the 
uh, Connecticut Conference of Land Conservation over on Saturday. Uh, I said Elvin. Oh, sorry. Uh, very interesting day. Um, you know, lots and lots of topics covered. We all went to, to different topics, uh, heard stuff on um, management of invasive species and light pollution and municipal solar and, and uh, land transactions. So a, a, a good day overall, highly recommended okay. when they do it next year. Very, very busy. Thank you. Ms. Okay, so um, we had um, five members go to the Connecticut Federation Planning and Zoning Agencies and we've all got our training certificates for that hour of affordable housing, because that was what the conversation piece was on affordable housing. Um, the dinner was excellent. So if any of the members that were there would like to comment on their experience. This is the first time I've been to one of those uh, events and um, quite a quite a um, back and forth on the affordable housing because he did open it up for the public to speak. And the public was mission members, staff, so, and you want to make any comments, Ray, Jane, Mike, John? No, nope, just a positive meeting that they uh, that was it. really was just telling us to read our regulations <laughs> or the proposed regulations and keep an eye on it. Yeah, keep an eye on it and do what they say. Well, that's good. Um, you want to pass that down for those that weren't there? Yeah, I'm looking at that. I've only yeah, got a couple of this was but from those... this was from. Yes, Connecticut right Strong, 169 Connecticut Strong. This is the bills that are coming forward, which is the affordable housing and what it actually is going to end up doing to us. I'll scan this in the Sunday, everybody. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's yeah, great. That's great. Thank you. Oh, and the second is. Um, we've had a situation, and I will not bring up the names because the party is not here at this meeting tonight, but because it's been a three, four year event, I did a summary from even before I got here, July 11, 2017, to last week. So you can take a look at it. And John Blinky, I emailed you your copy. Uh, I don't know if you got in your email. Kais, I'll email you before I leave. And who else is on there? Judge Kais online. Okay. Hang on. Here. Who? What? You got it, John? I'm checking now. Okay. I sent it to two. So you can't tell me if you didn't get it. You got it. Well, I'm checking one and I'll check the other one. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Thank you, Cindy. And that was that it, Cindy? That's it. Um, I do not. Have, I think it's the first time in five and a half years I have not had a memo. <laughs> so, um, if you got my email, you would probably know why. So. Thank you. Yeah, just to comment on this, I, I was going to say it on the Commission of Commons as well, but uh, for the paint off, uh, I'm going to get together with you still. Okay. Right. I but haven't had time to. We just can't bring up the name because the person's not here. Yeah. yeah. Brian, I'd like to be in on that too because yeah. I actually have done some of my own research up there. So. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy, for doing this. Yeah. Good. It was quick, so there might be some typographical errors. And met, um, I both did it. As a matter of fact, I actually went home and finished it up when I went home to work today. <laughs> Finish it before I put the stake on for <laughs> Thank you very much, Ms. Don. Item 13, correspondence. We received notice of a, a planning board public hearing in the town of Douglas. Item 14, signing of Mylar. There are none. Item 15, ZBA review. Um, they had a similar noticing issue, so their meeting was canceled. Yes. Item 16, citizens' comments. All right, can I just say one thing to Ms. Dunn? Do you want to wait for commissioner's comments? No, I just I want to let her know that I didn't receive it, your email. I'm both, yeah. both. You just let you know. My email then, John, I'm sorry. I'm only doing what's in the thank, computer. Thank you, she'll look into it, John, thank you. Um, any other citizen, any citizen's comments at this time? 
<laughs> okay, seeing none, item 17, commissioner's comments. Mr. Curie. Mr. Santos. Thank you. Uh, since the issuance of our updated zoning regulations, how many ZBA meetings have there been? Um, I'm on my second application for this year that will be accepted next month. I think there was two or three applications last year. The two or three since two or three last year, yeah. I just want I mean, I can go get the chart. No, 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 no. That's totally fine. It's two or three is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, just well, well, how well the zoning regulations are clear and uh they're not causing you know the ZBA to have meetings. I just think that's phenomenal. That's my only comment. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Santos. Any other commissioners' comments? Yeah, how about well what are we gonna do about yeah. this whole football business? No, you have to talk loud. So, yeah. So his question is what are we gonna do about um, the situation that you handed the summary out on? Well, um, I, one commission member suggested that you uh, pull yourself together as a subcommittee, which uh, through research, um anything that you do as a committee is open to the public. Um you um, one commission member discussed the possibility of looking at the regulations to make regulations for recreational activities on private properties. Okay, um, what I will suggest um, is a committee on recreational activities on private property. Uh, I do not think this needs to be a committee of the whole. Oh, I spelled property right in my notes. Um, what I would suggest is if you are interested in being a member of that committee, uh, let me know by the end of this week. Put me down as yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. Jane, my me, Brian, Ray, John, Evan. I will keep it open until the end of this week because I want to make sure uh, members who are not here have the opportunity to join the committee as well. Um, that could may, may I make one yeah. comment regarding this? Um, just, yeah, just going to be, yeah. Um, I think it can certainly be done via what? Zoom. I think it can be done via Zoom, yeah. certainly. Um, I will um, I will serve ex officio. What I would suggest is, is when this committee meets, they elect their own committee chair, um, and I will be in as, as able. Um, Ms. Penn? Uh, just in terms of the course of action, which appears to be forming, uh, in terms of regulating private recreational activity, I would say that the, the recent history of this commission has not looked favorably on that and you should be very cautious. I would also suggest uh, that you consider pushing this instead to the Board of Selectmen to be addressed in an ordinance so I am not at all sure that what you are proposing would be appropriate as a zoning measure. Well, I, I believe that we are not doing anything now except sitting down and discussing it because I have several thoughts on this because of the research I have done on that area. So I think this is the first step. And then with what we come up with uh, and what the commission agrees on the special board, then it would then we would know the next step to take. Um, so I believe that this is something as the members of this board, we do need to sit down and talk about it uh, because we all know why I got into this and that is because the overreach of certain things. So it, it needs to be discussed and then we can take the next step, which I agree, which is possibly taking it to the selectmen and going from there. But I would like to sit down with this board because I would like to get input from everybody else on this. Yeah. So again, I uh, um, let me know by the end of this week if you have not already. I have Jane, Mike, Brian, Ray, John, and Alvin. Um, well, I'm gonna, I didn't do this, so I'm in. <laughs> and you don't have to be. I'm in. <laughs> yeah. um, and for those who are not here, again, I will give them to the end of the week to, to indicate their interest. Um, and then 
Um, I will discuss with staff sort of some of the, the logistics of this committee running. Um, and uh, yeah, you'll hear from me early next week about okay. the formation of the committee. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Lenke. You're welcome. And I thank you. Certainly. Uh, okay. Any other commissioners' comments? With that, our next meeting will be April 24th, 2023, here in the Maryland Sunday Community Room at 7 p.m., as well as on Zoom. Item 19. A motion to adjourn. I second. Motion made by Mr. Santos, seconded by Ms. Saucy. This meeting is adjourned at 7.41 p.m. Wow. Hey, you better put this down in a record book. Ready for three public hearings next month.